Hi everybody, my name is Aníbal Azevedo and this is the class number 12 of the third track where we are talking about how to apply some artificial intelligence techniques into the container ports logistics. So uh, we made this extra class because in the previous class I made several errors in the code. So we want to uh, fix them. And in the description of this video, we have the correct version of the code that we made in the previous class. And we also fixed the, not the video of the previous class, but we fixed the code that's presented in the previous class. So I made this video because I want to, to make some attention in the code. In the original code that I wrote, we don't have this kind of errors, but when I tried to make the code more didactic, uh, it appears this error, appear these errors. So I want to apologize in this sense, but we corrected uh, the code because in the next track, we need a perfect code since we're gonna evaluate all possible solutions or, uh, that we can have for uh, many ports. So let's start code and to observe this, uh, how we can fix these errors. So here we have a list of these errors and we want to point out where are these errors, okay? So let me do some kind of zoom. Okay, it's now, it's okay. So uh, what's the first error? The first error was in the, uh, the container class. We made this code in the first track but uh, let's see this code here. So this is the uh, the container class that we, we finished in the first track. And what where is the error? The error was in this uh, method, the draw method. And here we have a different kind of uh, variable. We have not self dot cargo map, which is this variable responsible to store where each container in the container ship is stored. Uh, let's observe the, the code that we made in the class 10. In the class 10, we are still using the code with error. So let's see what we have there in the method draw. Yeah, we have this variable ship, but ship is not defined for as a variable. To, uh, to the container ship class. So it was just uh, defined here on this uh, initialization, just here, but it's completely wrong because this is not a very, uh, a field of this class. What is, uh, what is the field of this class? Uh, is the, uh, we using this method, cell set cargo map, we define this self dot cargo map as the correct variable that will store the where the container ships are uh, stored in the inside the container ship. So here we have uh, this. Uh, this is wrong. So we corrected here. This is the first error that we find. How we find this when we try to simulate a solution? Uh, it starts to appear as the error. Okay, so this is the first error that we corrected. And the second error uh, is the code to test rule functions doesn't have don't have uh, initial setup. So it's not good because uh, you can test one rule and after doing this, this can carry a, a kind of modification in the, the ship that's not good to test the next rule. So to avoid this, we define it for every rule, this kind of setup, this is standard setup. We, can, uh, we created the container ship object by doing this and start empty this container ship. And after doing this, we defined uh, the, the containers that should be uh, put in the container ship and use it the function that we want to test in this case the load rule one 
and after doing this we print the new cargo map also draw it the uh, the container ship and uh, print the number of movements that is necessary to load this cargo to verify if it, it, everything is okay uh, the container ship arrangements and the number of movements and the the function related to, to draw the container ship so we fix it also this this is it, it's not a kind of error but it's very important to verify your code to verify if the functions are correct so we verify a very more simple way and uh, to verify if the functions are working properly and the second thing that we uh, changed is the third thing is the method translate none to rules okay so in the original uh, code that we are using this function we just used a, a wrong version of this function let's see it or this okay so when we copy the translate number to rules function uh, and define it as a method of the class we use this version of the code but this version is not correct because as you can see in the class number four if you want to use a number which starts which range starts in one not in zero you should uh, use minus one okay if you start here in zero you can use just uh, this uh, without this minus one but if you start in one you should use minus one to co to have a correct decodification uh, uh, integer number will be decoded in a series of integer numbers that are a combination of rules it then to be correct this decoding you should use this minus one i explained it all in the class four so if you want to see again the class four and understand this point it will be very it will be very interesting uh okay so we also fixed this in this code so here we have minus one since this variable starts in one not in zero okay so we we, we defined this the, this variable s starts in one so we need minus one here and the last thing that we, we changed it's not a kind of error but it's an improvement that makes uh, more easy to understand what the simulation program is doing when we activate the variables mode so the variables mode is a kind of code inspection where we can see at each step that uh, the algorithm is doing algorithm is it can be very very uh, difficult to understand since we are doing many tasks so uh, we need a more clear way to understand what is do what is be doing the code is doing in its step so here we have a more clear uh, understanding for example we are in port one this is the decoded after we applied here after we applied the method the translate number to rule so we pick up the the number 12 and translated the 12 number and translate it into two and six so we're gonna apply the unloaded rule two and loading rule six uh, for this uh, containers okay so uh, we translated the transportation matrix that we presented here in terms of containers a vector of containers to be loaded so we apply the load load rule number six since we're import one we don't apply unloaded rule because we are in an empty we have an empty ship so we start the ship in the first port empty we can uh, change this to a previous configuration of the cargo we can change this but at this moment this is enough to perform tests and for our purposes okay so uh okay so now this is the translation we avoided this for the first port and after doing this after applying this 
method combine that translates uh, the information, the transportation matrix as this uh, list of containers that should be loaded. We apply the loading rule. Then we have this new uh, the ship was empty, okay, there are no containers, and after applying this rule, we loaded the containers, and we spent this number of movements, since we have five containers, have this, uh, this container ship arrangement, and when we arrive at port 2, we apply the same combination of rules, we should apply unloading rule 2, unloading rule 2, so here is the, the application for unloading rule, and after this we should apply the uh, loading rule 6 so we perform this unloading rule and the number total number of movements uh, it's 7 uh, so you must understand that the number of movements is how you can calculate this is the number of movements that we are already performing in the port 1 plus the number of movements that we are performing in this in this port so in previous port we made five and uh, until this moment we have performed seven so in this unloading rule we perform just two no, uh, two uh, unloading okay so we unloaded just two containers this and this container okay uh okay so after doing this we can uh, apply the loading rule. We just load these three containers, which means that the total number of movements uh, gonna be increased in uh, three number of movements. So we got ten number of movements, and got also this new container ship arrangement. After doing this, we arrive at the port three and should load two more containers, unload two, uh, the containers which, which destination is port free, which means these four containers, so uh, from 10 we got 14 number of movements and got this uh, container ship and finally we arrive at port 4, in port 4 we applied, oh they are still in the port 3, sorry so in the port 3, we also load uh, these three containers. Now we're going to have 17 number of movements. So we loaded again this container ship and finished this uh, operation with 17. Okay. Why this? Because we st uh, stopped in port 3. Uh, obviously, we can uh, also... Uh, perform more operations but to do this we need to uh, increase or uh, or transportation matrix let's observe that this transportation matrix has only three lines so we have uh, the cargo that will be loaded uh, in port one two and three so we perform all the operations for these three ports, okay, so and also accounted uh, the operations, unloading and loading operations, uh, the number of movements that we gonna need to perform these operations. So, um, okay, so this is the the correct uh, class, container ship simulation class. That's very important because it's gonna be make more easy to understand the impact of doing such uh, options of in terms of unloading and loading rules for the ship if you want to apply some unloading and loading rules in the ship what's going to be the impact through all ports that ship will visit okay so now the the code is very clear and correct and easy to verify this this is the most important thing that we want to carry for the next track okay so uh, now I have I didn't identify any more any other issue that can have uh, a serious impact I hope this code now is totally clear and correct which is important to, to build a didactic 
way to explain the original code. So this is the focus. The original code is, is correct, but I made these errors since I tried to make a different version of the original code uh, to make this more didactic and I introduce some uh, not clear issues and not uh, correct issues. So we made all this uh, explained. I hope this video interesting and uh, useful. Thank you for your attention. And I hope you to find it in the next class of the next track where we're gonna implement a genetic algorithm and will be very important to make an intelligent choice of the right combination of the rules. So see you in the next tracks and in the next video. Bye.